in Philippines, the cats and the dogs will be pooping all around the streets. If you're coming back from school or any place, the first thing that will greet you is the poop. My goodness. I'm like, what is this? And if you open your door, you will see the cats around your doorpost. Guys, in Nigeria, when we see a cat around our doorpost, we used to shout Holy Ghost Fire because we believe they are witch. Hi guys, I noticed so many cultural differences between my beloved country and Philippines, okay? Although I had so much fun while I was still in the Philippines and I decided to share with you guys the cultural shock that I noticed in the Philippines. In terms of communication, I noticed that Filipinos, when they want to communicate with um, their people, they raise their eyebrows like this, like this. Or if they want to um, gossip someone or talk about someone, they do like this. You know, and I noticed some fake smile. I, I think it's a fake smile, guys. I noticed them, they smile like this. You know, there was one day I was in the school. I saw this girl. We've, we've been friends. We actually said hi to each other. And then I was leaving the school premises and she was entering the school. And I was saying to her, hi there. And she did like this. I was about to smile and then she stopped. Like, I'm like, what is this? Another thing I noticed in terms of greeting, guys. In Philippines, they don't care if you greet or not. Believe me, because where I come from, Nigeria, if you don't greet the person, they see you as an enemy. They see you as being disrespectful, you know? But in Philippines, they mind their business. I was greeting someone. She was not responding. And then I, I said to myself, next time if I greet this person, let me know why. But guys, I came to realize that it's um who they are because one day I, I i i have to summon up the courage and ask her like mom why are you not answering my greetings are we quarreling she's like no we're not quarreling i said didn't you hear me yeah she heard me then why didn't you answer she didn't say anything that was when i realized that it's not a big deal to greet someone in philippines because in nigeria oh my god if you don't greet the person you guys are automatically enemies Another thing I noticed is in terms of dressing. In Nigeria, I noticed that they wear something to cover down. But in Philippines, they wear something to cover up. That is why I noticed in the, in the jeepney when a Filipina is coming down, she's always doing like this. But in Nigeria, they want to show you their cleavages for you to see. <laughs> Crazy, right? But in Philippines, they wear bum shorts, like they will show you their hot ties. Oh my god, you'll see their hot ties. But they don't dare show their boob, their cleavages, okay? Another thing I noticed in the Philippines is the traffic. Oh my goodness, the Manila traffic, guys. Ah. I know we have traffic in Nigeria, but the Manila traffic, like, if you want to go to the immigration as a student and you're living in the province, you have to live. For manila very very early in the morning guys if not the traffic guys another thing is i noticed is in terms of the pets filipinos they like cats and dogs while in nigeria we don't like cats some people don't like dog but some people like dogs in philippines the cats and the dogs will be pooping all around the streets if you're coming back from school or any place, the first thing that will greet you is the poop. My goodness. I'm like, what is this? And if you open your door, you will see the cats around your doorpost. Guys, in Nigeria, when we see a cat around our doorpost, we used to shout Holy Ghost Fire because we believe they are witch. When we used to watch Nollywood movie, they make use of cats to act witches and wizard movies. So, the first time I saw a cat in Philippines, I'm like, Holy Ghost Fire, Holy Ghost. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, what is all this? But later I adapted, I got used to it, but I used to hold my umbrella because there are some dogs that look like rabies. You see the dog, you see it's like walking dead. <laughs> so I hold my umbrella to like um, protect myself. 
when I'm passing so that they don't hurt me because when you are being bitten by a dog especially when you get rabies oh sorry sorry for you for yourself so in order to avoid that I hold umbrella even though <laughs> I don't like holding umbrella for covering myself because when I, I hold umbrella, I usually forget the umbrella wherever I go to, <laughs> okay? So, the, the only reason why I hold the umbrella is because of dogs, okay? I know how many times I bought umbrella in the Philippines because Filipinos, I see them holding umbrella. So, I tried because they say when you go to the broom, behave like chromans. So, I tried holding umbrella and I went to somewhere. Guys, could you believe I forgot the umbrella there? <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, umbrella is not a thing for me. It's better for me to be working with my <laughs> skin like that. And guys, I noticed Filipinos. I think the reason why the Filipinos take umbrella is because of the harsh um, sun. And also because they are also taking glutathione for their skin so that the sun, the ultraviolet rays will not damage their skin. So I think that is the main reason why they like holding umbrella. And another thing I noticed is on the food. The first time I tried Filipino food, I'm like, what is this? Because in Nigeria, we eat rice and stew, but in Philippines, you, you eat rice and sabao. <laughs> Like the sabao is like um water from the meat broth. Like the water you use in cooking meats, you use it and eat rice. And in Philippines, they use their hands to eat rice. Like the way they dip in. We do that in Nigeria, but we eat swallow with our hands. There are some people that eat rice with hands. Sometimes they eat it with mango. I'm like, what is what kind of food is this? What is this? Oh my god! But as time goes on, I started adapting. But I right now I eat all the Filipino food except the one they they said is um, pig blood. I don't like that one. The blood and balut, guys. I don't like balut. To me, it's abortion of the chick. But I respect you guys' culture, okay? Balut is a um, hatched um, chick or a dog from an egg. The immature chick. Yeah, that is what they they, they drink. My goodness, guys, I can't do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, another thing I noticed is um, if Filipinos are talking, they cover their mouth like this. Okay? The reason why I noticed, because before I used to think it's racism, or some of them are actually racist, but what I noticed is like when they're talking, they use handkerchief or their hand to cover their mouth. is because they don't want when they're talking to you, saliva should touch you. That is what I noticed, okay? Although some people are doing that on purpose as per they are racist. And in terms of religion, guys, in Nigeria we have Christian, um, Islam or Muslim and traditional, right? But in Philippines they have Islam, Christian, Muslim, Jehovah Witness, and they have Iglesia Ni Cristo, they have Born Again, they have Roman Catholic, they have, um, oh my goodness, name them. <laughs> They will ask you, what is your um, religion? If you say Christian, they'll be like, Christian or Jehovah Witness. I'm like, Jehovah Witness is not that Christian. They said, no, it's different religion here. I'm like, okay, guys. Um, another thing I noticed is um, when you find a house in the Philippines, guys, they will be monitoring the visitors that are coming to your house. They will tell you, eh, we don't want male visitors in this place. Or they will tell you, no visitors allowed here. Even... If you become stubborn and you allow visitors, that will increase your rent. Oh my God, Philippines. Guys, another thing I noticed in Philippines, the women are the very, very hardworking in Philippines. Also, women are hardworking in Nigeria. In Philippines, a woman was once a president, but I've not seen a woman being a president in Nigeria. Guys, another thing I noticed in Philippines is, in is during Valentine, you will see little, little children <laughs> Buying flowers, candies, chocolate for their um, girlfriends. They already have girlfriends. But in Nigeria, you dare not open up your mouth and tell your parents that you have a boyfriend, you have a girlfriend. Man, they will kill you, you know. But in Philippines, you see little children buying gifts for their girlfriends during Valentine. And in school, they will come as kneeling down, giving them playing music and guitar. And people will be shouting, ah, Oh my God! <laughs> This is all I remembered and, and, and then I decided to share this with you all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.